What's up, y'all? This is Francisco with Covenant Dispatch LLC, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you can see in the headline and in the title, I'm going to share with you guys a live broker call example. Um, I had a lot of people contact me asking me if I can make a video on that, so I'm going to share that with you guys shortly. Before I do that, um, I wanted to share with you guys something, two things really quick. Number one, I just recently, actually yesterday, um, released um, the, an independent freight dispatch handbook so the handbook is kind of formatted like an ebook it has 29 pages giving you jam-packed with information giving you step by step how to book a load step by step how to set up your own business as far as your llc and ein and things of that nature um just step by step information so that you can get a full understanding before you start your own company now the reason why i put that together is because i understand some of you guys might not want to buy the uh freight dispatch course which is 200 dollars. so um, if you actually go on the same link under this video where I have my freight dispatch course, you'll also see what's called the startup kit. So the startup kit, I placed it uh, as $50. And then the startup kit, it'll include the freight dispatch handbook. It'll include a logistics terminology cheat sheet. So any uh, terminology you might not understand or anything like that, I'll place a cheat sheet in there for you guys. And I'll also give you guys the uh, carrier packet template, the broker's list template, and the weekly report template. And then I'll also go in there today and add all the website links that I utilize. So that might be a better option for some of you guys who um, may not want to take the freight dispatch course. Now the freight dispatch course has six 45 minute to an hour videos kind of breaking down everything. So it is more informative, um, but maybe you, some of you guys might just want to grab the handbook and that might help you out. Uh, you may learn better that way. So again, that'll be on, on the link um, I'll place the link for that under this video so that you guys can access that. So the other thing I wanted to share, so recently I just made a Q and A video. And so in my Q and A video, it was actually the last video that I uploaded. Um, I asked people to basically comment topics that they want me to make a video on next. And so I had a couple people in here. Number one, I had uh, someone by the name of Stan O'Brien and living the good life RVing. They both asked me if I can make a video uh, kind of going into detail about the interaction between the rate con and the carrier and the broker, all that good stuff. So I'm gonna make a video on that for you guys. Um, if it's not my next video, it'll definitely be the video right after that. And then um, I wanted to answer this specific question from Junior. So Junior asked, can you do a breakdown of what software and programs you are using for your day-to-day -day and also what you use to create invoices for the carrier and broker. So to answer Junior's uh, end of the question, I actually use QuickBooks to generate my invoices. QuickBooks is basically like a software to, uh, for you to do bookkeeping and things like that. So QuickBooks has a feature where I can just generate invoices through there and then just email it over to the carrier. So that's what I use to generate invoices. Now, if you don't use QuickBooks or you don't wanna use QuickBooks, if you just go to Google and type in free invoice generator, you'll have a lot of different links where you're able to do that. So as long as you're putting in the correct information, you can utilize one of those. Um, and so for, for the top portion of your question, where you asked what software and programs I use, off the top of my head, I couldn't give you every single one of them, but mainly I use DAT for my load board. I use Connect Team as my TMS system, um, and I kind of tweaked it into my own way uh, to, to use it. Google Maps, I use Google Maps often. I use PDF Escape which is a, a, a website where I'm able to alter PDF formats so that I can either sign them or fill them out or whatever. Um, and so there are a couple of other ones that I can't think off the top of my head. I have them all listed in my freight dispatch course. I have them all listed in the startup kit. Um, but in the future, I'll make a video where I can go by, uh, go through every single one of them for you. So other than that, um, that pretty much answers the questions. I'll make a video about the interaction with the rate confirmation for Stan and for living the good life RVing. But again, other than that, let's just jump right into the live broker call. So this one's paying $5 a mile, which is actually pretty solid, but they're paying that much because look how much it weighs. And if you go to the comments, it stops in Harrisburg. So Warrendale. So it's going from Lebanon, PA to Warrendale. Remember, you go to the Google Maps. You know, I'm put Lebanon, PA. Warrendale, PA. So they're wanting you to pick up in, in Lebanon, drop off in Warrendale, I mean Harrisburg, and then drop off in Warrendale. 
right? Because it says stops in Harrisburg. So you're going to want to pick in Lebanon. They're most likely going to have to drop one in Harrisburg. Let me call them. I'll call them really quick. I'll put the speaker on so you can hear. So we're calling this number here uh, 517 because although you see this number right here, they have in the comments a specific number. So we're going to call that number. Beware, guys. Some of these brokers are complete jerks, so they might be a little. Please hold for a sec. Okay. Guys, just so you are aware, also always have the MC number ready of the company. That's one of the first things they're going to ask you. What's your MC number and how co close are you? Now, guys, while you're waiting uh, in an example like this, just start to strategize in your head how you're going to approach um, how you're going to approach this load. Like what kind of rate you're going to give them. What's your target rate? Just so you're not caught off guard. Another thing, too, guys, if you see on the side in the comments, it has team101 at gtrucking.com. Um, you can also email them as well. Um, and let's say if they don't pick up or if they're taking too long to pick up, just send them an email really quick. All right, guys, they took too long to pick up. I'm going to call this peop these people right here. Remember, guys, X stands for extension. Please listen carefully as our menu options have recently changed. <clears throat> hey how you doing boss i had a question just quickly what's the uh, details on this uh, carlisle pennsylvania logo in the sweetwater tennessee yeah can i get your mc's here so that real quick yeah mc's correct yep no we're not set up but i can get you set up yeah, that, uh, he's picked up before, in a second, since he picks up at 3 p.m. Picks up at 3 p.m. today? So, yeah. And okay. the delivery's tomorrow between 8 a.m. and 12 noon. Okay. Um. Uh, the commodity. Yeah, go ahead. No, I was going to say, yeah, that's exactly what I was going to ask next. What's the, com what's the commodity? Oh, it's, uh, sheets of glass. Pallet size. Palletized. Okay. Yeah, by chance, does the trailer have e tracks and a wooden floor? Uh, I know it has a wooden floor. I would have to double tra uh, track. <laughs> I would have to double check um, on the e tracks. Uh, does it need to be strapped in? Yeah, because it's sheets of glass just to secure more properly. Got, got it. Um, let me let me verify that really quick. Um, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Exactly how the conversation All right, this number extension 2121. My name is Michael. 2121, Michael. All right, appreciate you, man. All right. Yeah, I'll be waiting. All, All right. right. No. So, more than likely, this guy is going to call me back and harass me because he realized uh, uh, the company that I work for, or work for, that I work with, one of my clients is um, they have uh, a lot of experience um, and they've been in the trucking business for. A long long time so he's gonna call me back so if you guys were paying attention to the conversation basically he asked me he told me the commodity I think he said it's like sheet uh, uh, windows or something like that it's palletized whenever they say palletized that's self-explanatory that means that that load is palletized it sits on pallets now this is what he asked me and I don't know if you guys caught it um, but uh, just so you can be aware he asked me if my trailer has wooden floors which most drive in trailers do. As a matter of fact, all of them should. Then he also asked me if, if the trailer has E tracks on the side. Remember how uh, I showed you guys an example of what an E track is? I'll show you guys really quick again. So it's glass that's being transported. So basically, he's asking me does my trailer have this? Because if it does, then I'll be able to strap in a, 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 you know, place a strap in the track and strap the load in because it's glass. They want to make sure it doesn't break. Um, 
you know, that was a perfect way for me to ease out of that conversation because I'm not, I'm not going to actually book that load. So that was a perfect way for me to ease out because I said I'll call and verify, you know, but uh, the driver is already, you know, already has a load. Um, but that's a perfect example of things that you need to know. So this is all necessary. This is why I put each, this is why I, the, I formulated the course the way I did it so that you know all of these things before you even start talking to these people. Um, because in a situation like that, if you don't know what an e-tract what an, what an e is or what it's being used for, uh, you would be kind of just stuck at that question. So that's what that's what he asked me. I'm not going to call any more uh, people because I don't want to piss these brokers off. Um, this guy is going to most likely call me back in the next few minutes.